What is up guys? Welcome back to the video. So today we're doing another video on this amazing mod where basically you have every single tower in the game in one game. It's actually crazy and today we're going to be making a max temple because of course we have every single tower in the game which means we have every single sacrifice for the temple. So this is going to be amazing. I really hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like the video if you do enjoy and yeah stick around because we're going to be getting the max temple. It's going to be doing crazy amounts of damage. We're also going to buff it uh, with the engineer ability with the MIB village and yeah we're just gonna see how powerful it truly is and of course Maker over there I have no idea what strategy he's gonna use but obviously it doesn't matter what strategy he uses really because he has every single tower in the game and so do I we can literally do any strategy we want uh actually I think we're gonna next video on this mod what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get every single fourth tier tower like on my side literally every single one and see how far we can go but yeah really hope you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to check out Maker channel I'll put the link in the description of this video. Uh, oh no. Oh my god. You know what he's doing? He's literally oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be crazy He's literally stalling every single balloon on his screen right there Oh no, and then maybe he has the rubber to gold power Which basically means if you pop balloons you make a set amount of money like five dollars three dollars per balloon I don't know how much it is, but if he stalls every single balloon Oh my god, he could literally make like a million dollars. Oh, and it's gonna like my game so much as well. I'm just gonna use improved eco boost because I can. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna put our temple like right here, I think. Because we're not gonna get that many temples. We're just gonna get every single sacrifice for this one. So I'm just gonna get it ready already. Oh my god, this is gonna literally be the best late game ever. And I'm really grateful that he's doing a cool strategy. Oh my god, he's literally getting every single balloon frozen right there. That's crazy. So yeah, what he's gonna do is he's gonna freeze every single balloon and then he's gonna get like a ray of doom or something, aim it up here, and then he's gonna use the rubber to gold power and he is going to pop every single balloon. And oh my god, it's gonna like the game so much. My game literally might crash. Oh, this is gonna be insane. Anyway, let's just get their banana research facility right there. Oh my god, I can barely even talk. I'm so excited. Also, it's probably because I just went on a walk uh, and I'm pretty tired. I mean, I was kind of jogging as well, so that could explain why I'm tired. I'm not that unfit. Okay, we're on round seven. I mean, he, he doesn't have that many... Wait, what I should do is... I should be sending him balloons, and then I'll give him a thumbs up. Uh, there we go. Not thumbs down. I don't want to BM him. But yeah, I'm going to send him balloons. So basically, he freezes those as well, so he can make even more money. It's actually going to be crazy. Oh my god. And of course, we have to get all of the sacrifices ready for my temple. And we're going to see how truly powerful a max temple in this game is. Now, you can get a max temple in car battles, but obviously, we're not playing car battles. Okay, let's go on to the yellows right here. So yeah, there's two Two things to be excited about we can be ex oh he's gonna leak there he's gonna leak there but yeah the first thing to be excited about of course is the max temple oh he popped everything he popped everything oh that's so disappointing oh it's kind of my fault for sending the yellows <laughs> he's sending the thug life but yeah basically he's gonna try oh no he's not gonna try again okay well rip that that strategy is not happening oh wow <laughs> that's hilarious okay let's get another one of these farms because we do need a ton of money yes it's bonanza uh, let's use this as well, sure. Okay, is he sending me stuff? I think he's sending me white balloons. I mean, we're absolutely fine against white balloons, so I don't know why he's sending them. Maybe he's just equing a little bit. Uh, okay, so let's get the sacrifices ready. So we need bomber sacrifice. Now, this sacrifice is for the missiles on the temple, which, are, you know, they're pretty powerful. I think they're one of the better sacrifices. So I, I, like, I don't know which is the best sacrifice to get. I know the blades can be really powerful. So how expensive is that? So we can sell it for 4K, and we can sell this one for... 4k as well. Okay, so we need a bunch of these. We need like six cannons because we need 30k worth of every single sacrifice, guys. At least 30k in everything. So I believe if we have five of those, I will have enough because it's like, I think it's like uh, 7k or 6k we're spending on them. So you know what? I'm just going to get one more just in case because I, I really want to make sure uh, that we get the max temple because I really want, I've never had a max temple in this game because I, I don't really play car battles that much. So yeah, I really want to see how good a max temple is okay let's get the glue gunners now okay the glue sacrifice i don't think it's that good to be honest oh it's it's 8k to sell this we only need to get three of those which is definitely helpful and you can see everything in the range of this which is an absolutely huge range get sacrificed so that's really really great literally it doesn't really matter where we put things okay so you can see now he's got the engineer he had the ice tower he's got the farm he's got the ninja and he's got the mortar i don't know what he's doing with the mortars there though that's kind of weird 
Okay, and now we need the wizard sacrifice. So this one is for the like the tempest tornadoes or the regular tornadoes that the, the temple fires out. Again, I don't know how powerful they are, but obviously they do a good job pushing the balloons back. But we don't need to push the balloons back, right? Because literally it just demolishes them instantly. Okay, so how much can we sell these for? That's like 6.6k. Okay, four of those should be fine. Uh, 30k plus. Just have to make sure we got 30k of each, but I'm pretty sure we do already. Uh, and then we need, of course, uh, the ice and we need a tech terror so i think there are five different sacrifices and of course in a normal game you can only have four towers so you only get four sacrifices at most because you can have uh the super monkey is a sacrifice which gives it the blades uh so where actually is the super monkey okay the super monkey's here there we go so we got a tech terror right there so we got the cannon sacrifice that's one wizard two tech terror three glue four and then we need the ice tower five and then we are done and luckily i have this as a hotkey so we can do this really quickly and i think this is one of the most expensive ones yeah we only need probably two of those but i'm just gonna get four because i can and just in case i'm gonna get one extra glue and one extra cannon and then we should be good to go oh my god it's only round 19 we're gonna have a max temple right here this is gonna be ridiculous it's gonna be so powerful guys Oh my god, I can't wait to get this. Oh wait, no, we do need more money though. I can't get it quite yet, guys. Because look at this, we only have 22,000. Okay, let's use this one last time. 300 eco, that is a lot. What is he doing on his side right there? He's got tons of artillery. Actually, no, it's only the third tier. What is that defense, dude? Makron, what are you doing over there? Okay, that's, that's an interesting defense. I... Don't know how good that is going to be. I mean, it doesn't look very good. Uh, but I mean, you do you. He has a big one right there. Oh, he's using the MIB village. Okay, I am definitely going to get one of those soon. Oh, man. Okay, so how much money do we have? 34k. When we get to 100k, I can use this. It might sacrifice a bunch of my farms as well, but it's all good. And we have the big blue buster. Dude, imagine a max temple with all these sacrifices plus the big blue buster. So it does three times damage to more class balloons. That would be absolutely unbelievable. Please leave a like on the video right now. Let's try to hit 3,000 likes on this video. I know we can do it. We haven't had one hit 3,000 likes in literally many months. But I think we can do it, guys, for this video. Because this is such an awesome idea. Okay, let's go for the sun god right there. Literally, we just need one more upgrade. The $100,000. Wait. Is that $100,000? Okay, it is. For a second, I was worried that it was modded to, say, a million. And that would have been an absolute disaster because I haven't been farming very well. But no, it is $100,000. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. We're only seven minutes in and we're literally so close to getting it. And then, of course, we have to buff it with all the various buffs. In fact, I, I only think there are really two buffs, which kind of sucks, but it's all good. Oh, my God. What is he doing? Dude, what is he doing on his side? What is this defense, dude? I mean, they're attacking really fast. Don't get me wrong. Like, those abilities happen, of course, because we're using this mod. The abilities happen automatically. Like, the game just triggers them when they're active. Um, because we can't actually click any abilities. Which is fine by me. Okay, we have 100k. We have 100k. When it gets to 8 minutes, I'm gonna do it. Oh my god. This is gonna be amazing. Okay. So, Temple of the Monkey God. A max temple in this game. I believe I have everything. We have glue. We have bomb. We have ice. We have wizard. And we have the tech terror. Let's go. This is going to be absolutely awesome. Max temple. Here we go. It did not sacrifice any of my farms. So as you can see, it has the blades. It has the ice. It has the glue. And it has the cannon one. Oh my god. This is going to be... And it has the tornado. I don't think I mentioned the tornado either. This thing is so good. Also, look at the head. It's kind of weird. Oh my god, this is super powerful, but we're not just done yet. We are not done yet. We need to get, we need to buff this thing so much. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a bunch of these villagers. Uh, I mean, I should, wait, it sacrificed my farmer. No, it sacrificed the farmer. Are you kidding me? That's so sad. Okay, let me get the farmer right back there. There we go. Okay, we got the farmer back. So we're gonna go for a bunch of these MIB villagers so they're always active. Oh, it's already attacking so much faster. That's insane. Look at that. Look at that attack speed, dude. It's amazing. Okay, let's get another MIB right there. So they're attacking at different times. Nice. Perfect. Okay, let's get another one. I want this active literally at all times. So let's get that right there. Okay, that's active. Oh my god, this is going to be unbelievably powerful. Like, I really hope he sends me a rush soon because I want to see how good this thing is. Uh, okay, yeah. He just said, wait, was that a CMG he's sending? What is he sending? Because uh, that just died instantly. Did you see that? It literally barely got anywhere. Was that a ZOMG or was that just a regular BFB? If that was if that was a ZOMG, I absolutely annihilated it. Okay, but we're, we're still not done yet. Let me just finish upgrading this one. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now let's go for the engineer right here. Now, I think he made it so it permanently overclocks. Because, of course, you can't use the ability. So, let's get the overclock right there. 
Okay, apparently the overclock doesn't work. I don't think the overclock works, guys. Oh no, that's so sad. I don't think the overclock actually does anything in this mod. No, that's a disaster. Okay, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we've got a max temple. You know what we can do? Well, we can go for a second max temple. Let's go for two max temples. This is going to be ridiculous. Okay, so again... We need to get the temple up. I'm, I think I'm going to put it like it can't be in the range of any of that stuff because I don't want it to sacrifice anything. So let's put it like right here. I think this is a good placement. Yeah, we're going to put it right there and we're going to get a whole new max temple. It's going to be ridiculous. Let's get the tech terror on this thing right there. Dude, we are at... Wait, what is his defense? Oh, because... Oh my god, the mortar ability. Remember, the game triggers it automatically. Oh, no. So, literally, he's going to have that ability. Oh, my God. He's going to use the ice ability to store. He's going to use the ninja ability to store. And he's going to use probably the glue gunner as well. Oh, my God. He's going to have the absolute maximum store on his side. That is going to be insane. Oh, my God. I might actually lose to him. Because he's got the mortar store, the ice store. He's going to have every single store in the game. He could even go for the, like, the sniper as well, the cripple mob. And there's absolutely no way I'm going to beat him if he does that. I mean, obviously, I, I, I can use the towers he's using. But I don't want to do that. I just want to do it my way with the max temples. It's so powerful, dude. It is so powerful. Okay, so we've got the three ice towers. Okay, so we've got two out of five sacrifices. It's kind of, Actually, wait, we can sacrifice the mortar. And we can sacrifice less of them instead of the bomb tower. I think that might be better. So let's get the mortar. I think we can go for how much? Okay, 7,200 for that. Yeah, I think that's better. Maybe I'll go for the big one as well, though. But yeah, it's much better sacrificing mortars than the bomb towers. Uh, how much can we sell this for? 7,600. 7,200. Okay, if I go for one more, I, I, I do think that's... 30k. I just have to make sure it's 30k because I don't want to get it wrong, but I think that is. So now we just need to go for the glue gunner again, and then we need to go uh, for... What do we need to go for? I'm, I completely forgot. Oh yeah, the wizard. We need to go for the wizard as well. Okay, so let's get three more of these, and then I think we're done because these are pretty... Yeah, these are pretty expensive as well, as you can see. I'll get four of them though, again, just in case. His side looks completely ridiculous right now with all those mortars and like the ice towers and stuff, uh, but it's going to be a really good defense. It's going to be hard to beat. Like, I might actually just go for a rush against him right now. I want to see how far. I'm just going to send him a regular BFB, okay? Just a BFB to see how he handles a BFB. Uh, I think he's... Wait, I can't even see the BFB on his side. Wait, where is the BFB, guys? Where is the BFB? It's it's not even on his side. Wait, let me see. I, I'm just sending a ZOMG. That is probably... I hope he doesn't die to it. But like... Oh, look how slow that is. Look how slow. Okay, there is the ZOMG. But oh my god, he's literally got it perma-stored. That is unbelievably slow on his side right there. That's not even fair, dude. Look at that. It's so slow and he can literally use abilities all the time. I mean, to be fair, the mortar ability, it actually, because the mortar ability is happening so often, I think it kind of cancels out. Because you know the reactor? Yeah, he's saying, oops, I think it cancels out. So you remember when you have the reactor and you have multiple reactors, it actually does worse than just having one reactor. I think it's the same principle. I think he just has too many of them. So they kind of can cancel each other out. Anyway, it takes forever to make these max temples, but 100% they're worth it. So I believe we do have five sacrifices on this one. Uh, let me just get one more wizard right there. I hope he's able to beat that ZMG. He should be able to kill it. I mean, he has so much stuff on his side. Also 90k. Uh, obviously, it's in the range of a village or something, I guess. Okay, so we have the wizard sacrifice. We have the bomb sacrifice. Uh, we have the tech terror. We have the ice. And we have the glue. So I think that's everything. We have the money. Let's go for another max temple right here. Two max temples in one game. In battles. Probably never done before. But there we go. There it is. These things are seriously powerful. Let me get a couple of MIB villages over here as well. There we go. Oh, man. This is... I don't see any way that we're going to lose this. Because yes... Oh, well, he actually defended on his side. I didn't even see that. But he did defend against the ZMG, which I'm grateful for. I'm glad he didn't die. I'm going to give him a thumbs down. Uh, not a thumbs down. I'm going to give him a thumbs up. I'm going to say well done because this is super awesome, guys. This is super awesome. Oh, he's sending me a rush. But is it going to do anything? No, it's not going to do anything, dude. I have max temples right here. Remember, round 35 ZMGs are actually really powerful. But we literally killed it before it even turned the first bed. We only have two temples. Just two. They're doing such a good job, dude. Because these ZOMGs are no laughing matter. These ZOMGs are really strong. Yeah, we are absolutely demolishing them. Oh my god, this is crazy. They're crazy good. Uh-oh, here's the chipper. That chipper ability is literally the bane of my existence. It, it, it is so annoying. That chipper ability, when it like has the auto-activated ability, it's super annoying. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to go for a rush, guys. Because we're almost 15 minutes in, we're on round 37. We're obviously not going to die anytime soon with the defense that we have. Uh, I could just go for some slowdowns, to be honest. You know what? Let's do it, let's do it. I'm going to go for one ice tower, just one. And we're going to get absolute zero. So that will literally occur every, like, I don't know how long the ability cooldown is. But as soon as it's back up, uh, the game will use the ability. Yeah, these max temples are way too good. Oh my god. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to sell my farms. I'm, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. There we go. We literally just have three towers. Okay, maybe not three towers because we have all the villages. But I'm going to go for the rush right now. We haven't even used the big balloon buster, guys. Okay, we're 15 minutes in. I'm going to go for my mega rush. Let's see if he can defend against this. I think I'll be able to send 10 ZOMGs. That is a lot of ZOMGs. 10. Let's see if he's able to defeat this. Is he going for a rush against me as well? I don't think he is. Okay, so that's 10 ZMGs. I'm going to send a couple of BFBs behind it as well. There we go. Send a couple of Stramics. Just use up every single little bit of money we have. And yeah, I think that's it. Um, Let's just go for a couple of these. One dollar. We have one dollar with four eco. That is amazing. Oh my god. Okay, he's sending a rush against me. Now remember, we only have two temples. Just two. Against all of these CMGs. I'm round 40. This is a big round. We're like way past round 32. So the ramping has started. Let us use. Actually, no. We don't even need to look at this. They're so good. They do so much damage. Let's use the big blue buster. Let's use it. How good is this? Oh my god. It's actually fighting back round 40 CMGs. Okay, not quite. It's doing a good job though. But yeah, actually it doesn't even seem to make... Okay, no. It is definitely making a difference now, guys. These things are absolutely annihilating the ZOMGs. Wow. I really hope he dies to my rush because I don't really have any rush left. He is doing a lot of damage right there. He's microing the tech terror ability as quick as he can. Oh, that's obvious because, uh, of course, the, uh, the abilities are auto-activated. So he can literally, if he just places down a tower, it will use the ability automatically. Which actually makes this really good. Dude, imagine a micro challenge with every single tower in the game. That could be so much fun. So it looks like he's at, he might actually be able to defend against this. Like, this is an insane defense right now. Oh my god, if he's actually able to defeat this, I will be so sad. They're getting close. Those mobs are getting very close. But nope, he did defend against it. He defended my rush. I have $64 right now. That is literally nothing. It's round 42. He's sending me another ZOMG rush. I'm not even going to use the big one buster because I think I can defend against this with just two temples. Remember, I only have two. Normally, by this point in Bonanza, you have a whole map full of temples. I have two temples, and they're still doing a good job against around 42 ZOMGs. This is just so impressive. Like, if I had a full map of these, we could probably get to, like, round 90 or something. Like, no joke, balloon circles, max temples, every single one. That would be such a good video. But yeah, we're about to go into round 43 with, of course, the natural ZOMGs. Uh, we're just having an absolute blast. This is so fun. We are kind of struggling now, though. They are getting kind of far on my side, but it's all good. It's all good. I, I think we're going to be doing... Yeah, we're doing fine. We're able to push back that rush. Absolutely fine. Uh, I do wish we had more money, though. I really do wish we had more money. Uh, we could sell these to send another rush. I might I might sell a couple of the MIB villages because I really do need to send another rush against him because you can see... When he's not microing, his, like, defense is really bad. Like, look, he's barely even damaged the ZMG. Look at, look at the damage on my ZMG. It's about to turn into BFBs. He has not even damaged his ZMG right there. Look, BFBs, no damage whatsoever. So if you don't use your abilities, like him spamming the tech terror ability, he basically does no damage to the ZMG. So I think he's going to die fairly soon. He's actually going for some farms right there. Look at that. I think he's run out of money. Oh, he's run out of money. Okay, this is risky. This is risky. I literally just sold my temple. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Let's just quickly get a Sabo. Oh my god, please get a Sabo right there. There we go. Let's use the Sabo. Uh, please, can you actually use the Sabo? It's not using it. Okay, big blue buster. We only have one temple versus one around 44 ZMG. He doesn't have any money, so I'm just going to rush him because he does not have enough money to, uh, to micro his towers. This is going to be intense. And he's selling towers to be able to micro the tech tower ability. But I think he's going to go down, dude. And this, I only have one temple, but this one temple is doing so good. We're 19 minutes in round 45. This is so fun. Oh my god. Look, he only has a robo monkey. He can't even afford it. And I literally just have one temple, but it's absolutely rocking everything. It's got 242 
thousand pops. That is a lot of pops, dude. That's so many pops. He's selling every single one of his mortars. He is able to get that tech terror up multiple times, but the problem is it just costs way too much, dude. That tech terror is like you're losing 10k easily every single time. Okay, that ZMG is kind of getting far right there, which is kind of a worry. So let me just use a big boom buster right here because uh, I think he's going to die very, very soon. So let's use the big boom buster. I think we're going to be able to defend against that absolutely fine. However, we won't be able to defend another ZMG because if the big boom buster runs out, yeah, we're not going to be able to defend. So hopefully there aren't any more ZMGs because otherwise I'm pretty much going to die. But it's all good. This has been such a fun game. You've seen how powerful the Max Temple really is. He has not defended my rush. He's about to go down. He is so close to going down. He must be running out of money by now. Like, he's probably sold every single mortar on his side. Okay, this is the end for me as well. If that CMG gets to the end, I am dead. But I think Maycrom is sadly going to go down. It's been a really good effort. Like, look at this micro. Oh, but he's still alive. He is actually still alive. He's pushing it back. He's using the ability. That is getting really far on my side, that ZMG. Oh my god. I mean, we are damaging it. Let's just use a lightning. I mean, the lightning is there to use. Let's just use it. He's using a tower boost. Let's keep him. Oh my god. If he actually if he actually wins this. If he actually wins that, this, this that would be unbelievable. Oh my god. The ZMG is really far on his side, though. That chipper ability is literally helping him so much. The ZMG is getting to the end on my side. It's literally getting to the end. Oh, and he's dead. That was so close. Guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and yeah, I get. I will see you in the next one. Peace.